I'm Glenna Cleek with Encore Ministries of First United Methodist Church in Benton. We lived in northwest Arkansas for many years, and on a certain highway that we would drive, we would pass a church that had a double-sided sign. I would always read the first side as we passed, and then after we passed it, I would turn around and quickly look to see what the other side said. One day, when I turned around to see what the second side said, I read, Remember Lot's wife. I jerked my head back really quickly, knowing the significance of that message. We remember that Lot and his wife were fleeing the evil Sodom and Gomorrah before God was going to destroy it. And God's messenger had said, don't look back. But Lot's wife did. And what happened to her? She turned into a pillar of salt. Now, perhaps she was att very attached to her past and resented having to leave it. Perhaps her faith was weak. And perhaps she just... Um, um, didn't believe God's promises. Whatever her reason was, she took her eyes off of God's plan for her, the way that he planned for her life to be, and she disobeyed him, and she was frozen into a rock-solid pillar of salt. You know, there are applications of remembering Lot's wife for us today. Once we have decided to follow Jesus, we need we must never look back. We must give give up our old sinful ways in order to follow a new life and grow as a child of God. That's the only way that we're going to grow in God's grace and knowledge. And the only way that we're going to keep a strong, close relationship with him. Remember that song, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world will definitely pull on us. But God's plan for us is so much more beautiful and wonderful and better than anything that the world can ever offer us. Colossians 3.2 says, Set your minds on things above and not on earthly things. I want to tell you a little story about someone looking back. On May the 6th, 1954, Roger Bannister became the first man to ever run a, mi a mile in less than four minutes. And about two months later, another man, John Landy, also ran a sub-four-minute mile. And then, in August of 1954, they met in competition for a, a historical race. And in the last lap, Landy was ahead, and it looked like he was going to be the one to win the race. But as he got close to the finish line, he began to wonder where Bannister was. So he turned to look and see where he was, and when he did, Bannister passed him, and Bannister won the race. Landy later told Time Magazine, if I hadn't looked back, I would have won. Philippians 3, 13 and 14 says this, But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining forward toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize to for which God called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So when we remember Lot's wife, we might ask ourselves, do we want to end up a pillar of salt or the salt of the earth? Let's pray. Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, 
We love you. And we pray, Lord, that we will keep our eyes on the future with you. That we, our faith will look to the future and keep our eyes on an eternal goal. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good week. Don't look back. <laughs>